What are you doing under here? <laughs> what has to be done? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know. If you know me, you know what's going on. I'm going to take over. What's up? <laughs> if you see me leave, just yeah, take over. Just take over? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm going to take over this party. Okay, how's everybody doing? Good? Okay, let's stand up. Can everybody stand up? Chairs out, stand up. Okay, let's just stretch it out. Can anybody just say, um, thank God above that the kids are out of the house for a few minutes? <laughs> anybody can say that. Like, I have a teen who I love very much, but she is standing right here. But it is still hard. So I want y'all just to stretch it out real quick. I want you to take a deep breath, okay? If you want to do some jumping jacks. All right, so y'all have a seat. Um, my name is Heidi Easley, and I'm the owner of Texas Art and Soul. And I love doing this. And we have Pixie here, who's talking a lot. We have Pixie, my daughter, here, her friend Abby, and then Stephanie here, and then also my husband Bobby. We're here to help you in any way possible, okay? So seriously, if you want us to go grab you a cupcake, we will grab you a cupcake. Talking to Jen, um, Jen and Molly, um, thank y'all so much. And I know all of y'all that are a part of this, thank you for having us. And we wanted to do something different. So she's like, hey, can we do something kind of more unique? And so we thought of this almost like a paint your own art adventure kind of idea. If I'm still working on the name. I don't know if that's right. You'll help me with it. But, uh, but first, before we do this, I want you to raise your right hand and repeat after me. I promise, I promise. not to judge, not to judge. My, art my art or my neighbor's art. <laughs> Until the very, very end. <laughs> then you can judge. <laughs> okay, so this is different than a lot of the paint parties that I teach, okay? And um, what I wanted to tell you about this, there is a lot of tracing, a lot of, of um, you're, we're going to be using carbon paper, we have paint pens for you, and we have all of these different things. So every single one of your art pieces are going to turn out different. So as you get finished, what we'll do is we'll move one of these ring lights, because we all love a good ring light when we're taking a photo. We'll move one of those ring lights in front of the balloon arches in a little bit, and we'll do a group picture before everybody leaves. Are y'all okay with that? Okay, awesome. Okay, so the first step, we have to do this in three steps. Okay, so how many steps? Three. Three. <laughs> I like you. We're going to have fun tonight. Um, three steps. Okay, step one is using the big brush called a chip brush. All right, so hold it up high. All right, so step one is using that. You do not have to paint it white. You can literally paint this any color you want. We have carbon paper that has white carbon paper, so if you decide to paint it black or you decide to paint it dark blue, you can choose whatever color you want. So I did an example with white. You want to leave some of it showing, okay? So this needs to be dry the whole time. Don't get it wet, keep it dry. Pick one color and paint the entire thing, and that is your step one. Can we handle it? Yes. All right, let's do it. All right, we'll turn up some music and get started. Go ahead and trace it. If anybody is struggling with this section, 
I want you to raise your hand high, and we have tons. Oh, we got one right here. And um, raise your hand high, and we will come over. Pixie, you want to help? We got Pixie and Abby that can come help, and Bobby and Stephanie. Once you get it traced, I want you to pull it up, and then I want you to yell at one of us so we can kind of congratulate you, because this is a big step, all right? The next step are the stencils. So for example, we have this beautiful stencil right here that she picked. Now if you're looking over here and you're like, wait, I really want that stencil too. Well guess what, Virginia will share this stencil when she's done with it. These stencils y'all, they're all reusable. So like I can see that you have the one that I used for the example, the lavender. If you wanted to use the lavender, you could totally use that when she's done with this. So here's what you do with your stencil. Once you have your wording traced, you're gonna let it dry. You're gonna give it a few minutes to let it dry. You don't wanna smear it. Has anybody ever played the operation game? Yes. What's that sound that it makes? Yeah. All right, right? Okay, so she's gonna put this down on her, her wooden canvas, basically. And then you're gonna use the smallest brush to play operation. Now I know for all of y'all big time crafters out there, this is a huge no-no in the stenciling world, right? I would literally online be shamed and probably call bad names right now for telling you to do a stencil this way. But you have to, have, whenever you're doing the stencils this small, it is better, yes, to have a dabber and actually dab some off and then dab it on. But when you're dealing with such a small area and a lot of people that may be new to stenciling, to have the best success rate possible, what I want you to do is hold it very tight onto your piece of wood, hold it tight, and then slowly just color it in like you would a paint by number, okay? Can I show yours real quick? I know you're in the middle, but it's so beautiful. Okay, so she chose to do this on the, the other side. So see how she's starting to outline it? She outlined it, you're doing it on your second outline? Second outline. So she's doing two outlines on this, and then she chose, what did we just pray? <laughs> I thought it said, Teray! I was like, why does it say Teray? <laughs> but it says pray with a cross. So she chose the, the cross with the pray, and then she's gonna put that up here. So I want y'all to remember a lot, this artwork is a little different than our normal, you know, painting classes that I teach, because here's the thing, it's, it's kind of simplistic, but then all you have to do is go find you a cute little plant. You're supposed to go ooh, ah. You don't really hurt my feelings. Without it, we it. on about the next 10 minutes to really get your, your lines on there and your stencils done. And then as you're doing that, go ahead and finish up, add your glitter. We're going to do a group picture right at 8, 13. DJ? I'm like a Britney Spears. What? Like Paris Hilton <laughs> DJ. <laughs> yeah. Did you see this table? You got enough?
that we're all standing with our arm. Okay, so we're so mentally like preparing yourself that we're gonna stand up in two minutes. Okay? Just a heads up, if any of you are still like you need this pencil, I am definitely an over giver. So if you like need to take it home, you're not finished, it is okay. If you need to borrow a Posca pen, it is not the end of the world. You may take it with you. Everybody stand up. I knew it was going to happen. Look at your neighbor. <laughs> stand up. It's all okay. It's going to be okay. If you want the apron on with your picture, you can move on. Go ahead and take it off. And then just throw it on the chair. And then follow me. We're going to go by the balloon wall. And we're going to take a group picture together. So all of y'all have got to come. Anybody who didn't paint, if you painted, you want to be a part of the group picture, come on out. And we're going to take a quick group picture. All right, and don't stay seated. You'll miss out because we'll do the picture pretty fast. So even if you're not done, go ahead and grab it. You are going to have to make me do my teacher days. Ten, nine, eight. Come on now. Please let us take care of you and just grab the stuff that's yours. 